Within this video, we're going to continue working through our lesson four of the student guide, wheel and axle of the Rube Goldberg's machines. And in this one, we're actually going to be looking at both the interface challenge as well as the interface activity. So go ahead and follow along in the PDF and of course, follow along in this video to see what we need to do. Now let's go ahead and discuss the interface activity two, not so New York cheesecake. And the goal of this is to get this ball into this bucket. And we're going to pick up right where we left off before. So we want the truck to roll down the ramp, bump into this Lazy Susan. The Lazy Susan will begin to spin and then push that ball off. However, we do want to make sure that that ball is going to land into the correct bucket. And to make that happen, we need to understand how this Lazy Susan works. So if you select the Lazy Susan, you will, of course, see a widget right here. And this widget is going to be the key to the puzzle. So if I go ahead and select it, I do want to make sure that I'm actually using our local movement on our gizmo. So make sure this looks like a little cube up here. We do not want this to look like a globe. Now, if I go ahead and grab this blue arrow and pull it straight up, you notice that we can actually make this cheesecake a little bit taller. If I grab this green one and pull it to the right, you'll notice that I can actually change the radius of our cheese. And if I grab the red one and pull it, you'll notice I can actually change how much of it is actually filling in. To help aid you in this, there are actually another couple pieces of the puzzle that will help out. If you look inside of the details panel, you'll find a section under default that has a cake size and the lazy Susan rotation rate. So you can actually type in values in any of these three areas to actually change the cake size if you want to get something very exact. And this lazy Susan rotation rate will actually make this thing spin clockwise or counterclockwise. And the higher the value, the further away from zero, then the faster it's actually going to spin. So using the axes, this cake size, and the rotation rate, see if you can get the ball to drop into bucket A. Now at this point, go ahead and pause the video. And once you've got that figured out, don't forget to take a screenshot and then go ahead and come back and we'll talk about what you need to do to get the ball into bucket B. All right, welcome back. Now let's discuss what we need to do for interface challenge, two turntables, and a toy truck. As you might have guessed by the name, we're going to use two of these turntables, two balls, and a truck, and see if we can get the last ball to roll into bucket B. So to do this, we're actually going to have to duplicate a couple of things, the ball as well as the Lazy Susan. So I'm going to go and select the ball and then hold Control or Command on a Mac, left mouse click on the actual Lazy Susan. So now that all of this is selected, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on a Mac and left mouse click and drag on the arrow of the gizmo and drag and create a duplicate. Now you're only required to use two turntables and two balls, but if you want, go ahead and use a few more. And it's totally up to you where you put these Lazy Susans and balls and how many of them that you use. You don't have to use what you see here on screen. So at this point, there's one last piece of the puzzle that I want to show so that you have an advantage. Let's go ahead and select just the turntable. And you'll notice down here, there's a little section that says spin on begin play. So what this is going to do when toggled on is that this Lazy Susan is going to start to spin even if nothing hits the buttons on the bottom of it, like the ball or the truck. So I'll go ahead and turn this on so you can see what this is actually going to do. So this turntable right here should start spinning even if nothing actually touches it. So let's go ahead and hit the play button up here in the top of the interface. And there it is. All right. I wish you lots of luck. This one's a little tricky, but definitely worth it in the long run.